Hi Sagittarius, here's uh, where we do you and your person. And I feel like this is really specific if you have had a recent falling out with the person that you're thinking about or the person you're connected with. <coughs> I feel like this is talking to you. Now this could be if you're in separation or you know you have been in a no contact situation. Um, you're not talking to each other. All of those things may be true, Sag. And so that's how you'll know this reading is for you. I might even label it or title it No Contact, okay? I really didn't expect this. <laughs> Happy Full Moon in Libra. And, you know, during the Full Moon in Libra, we are working things out, okay? We are healing things. Oh, my goodness. Summertime, y'all. So... <clears throat> The mutual energy is interesting. Like, you want to be positive about this situation, right? It's New Moon and Gemini think it through. But I, I feel like both of you maybe, because of whatever happened, are thinking carefully about what you want to say. This is what I kept feeling when I saw the card. The exact meaning of the card is that there is a positive outcome that, you know, through thinking, like thinking you can work this out is literally part of what makes it work out. But with Gemini, with it being Gemini, this, this is about really figuring out what you expect. Like, what's the outcome you expect with this person? What do you expect from this person? What do they expect from you? What are the expectations here? And I feel like that's what you're thinking about. What do you really want from them? You know, um, and I, but I really felt strongly it's both parties really thinking about what they want to say. Um, because, you know, there seems to be some, a conflict of some kind. And, you, and, and uh, you know, this sense of not wanting to say the wrong thing here. You know, because you do want a positive outcome, or you expect a positive outcome. And if you don't, I mean, you really should think along those lines. You know, expect that this will work out, right? The situation, Sag. <laughs> By the way, I am a Sagittarius sun and moon, um, and I also do personal readings and sell products. Please check out the link in the description for that. I do about four readings a week here, or at least I really try, okay? You know, Sagittarius, we're so easily distracted. Um, but one thing you can always count on is I am going to do a reading for singles and a reading for people who have someone on their mind, okay? There was something that happened, okay? Like, and it, and it feels like you really had a turning point in this, in this connection because the axe is here. Um, that can talk about breakup, but it can also talk about there was a pattern in this relationship that needed to be broke. And, um, you know, silent treatment and abandonment, maybe that's the pattern that needs to be broke. It's kind of like whenever things, you know, start to go bad, then, you know, you, you reflect to each other and just stop talking when what you should actually do is communicate. <laughs> But, like, seriously, it was not today. It's, like, it's just a sense of, like, you know, avoiding the conversation. And I feel, I feel really strongly in this connection that's the problem. Um, it's definitely the problem since Gemini is showing up, right? But there is a sudden change. And I think that probably what happens is when there, when conflict arises, you just stop talking. And instead of, you know, let's, let's deal with this. Let's, let's fight it out. Let's duke it out, right? Um, and I feel like it's because, and the truth is, is that avoiding this conversation, avoiding this talk, avoiding telling your person how you really feel or, you know, it kind of like just keeps it brewing, right? It just keeps it building. So you keep getting angrier and angrier. And you, you feel like you don't want to talk while you're angry, okay? But 
is that working? Is it working? Or is it just keeping the conflict alive? But I, I, I have news for you. Something's about to, to happen here. Lightning is here, which, you know, is a sudden change. Suddenly, I think, I do think you're going to have this conversation. Okay? I do. So, underneath the deck is, you know, you just want to be happy. You're trying to make choices... Um, healthy choices because you realize that you know healthy relationships you know love really isn't this hard you know and you want to move towards happiness and growth you know and you know they're oh wow sabotage and and the mirror y'all I feel very strongly that y'all reflect back to each other you know, it's kind of that energy. And, and Sagittarius does move in that energy with the mirror. Like, you don't talk to me, I'm not going to talk to you. So it could be this person that does this thing where they try at all costs to avoid conflict, but it's not possible. Conflict just builds, okay? And so you, you may be in this place where you're like, well, you don't talk, I'm not going to talk. So no one's talking, and that's the problem. Okay. Yeah, I mean, at the bottom of the deck is the Five of Swords with the Ace of Swords and the Lovers. Okay. <laughs> That's like, you know what that is? You know, you you may be coming to face the truth that, like, okay, the Five of Swords with the Ace of Swords. Like, the Five of Swords is that determination to win. And that's, you know, you just want to be right. Both parties just want to be right and are standing so firm in the fact that they're in the right that they can't align. You know, there there's a space in the middle. And, and, and it so reminds me of there's your truth, there's my truth, and the actual truth. You know, it doesn't mean any one person is wrong. You can both be right. And, you, and, like, there is a conversation coming where, you know, you do come into alignment. You know, you do come, because we're seeing more Gemini energy with the lovers. The lovers is a head-heart choice, right? But it's also coming into alignment. And what how you're coming into, I kind of feel like both of you are admitting that maybe you're sitting too much in... I'm right. You're wrong. You know? Because in relationships, y'all, we got to compromise. Right? Right. So let's take a look and see uh, your feelings, their feelings, and how this all works out. Right? Okay, Sag. I know that's a lot, right? I can get so preachy too, but I want to help. I have to help you. <laughs> okay. So how is Sagittarius feeling about this situation? You're on the fence, Sag. You don't know what to do. You love this person. You do. You want, I mean, this person makes you happy, and you want to open up to them, um, but you kind of go back and forth about it. Maybe you just, it's the sense of you not wanting to be the first one to talk. So how does Saj feel about this situation with their person? How is, oh, the devil, oh, Jesus, <laughs> and the high priestess. You can't stop thinking about it, Sag. And I feel like what I feel like you're kind of feeling like this is unhealthy, right? Or that this connection is unhealthy. You may be obsessively thinking about it, but really not saying anything about it. And I feel too like you're not sure how you feel with the high priestess showing up. How does Sagittarius feel about this? 
I just get the feeling that you don't know how you feel, but yet you can't stop thinking about it. Okay. And <laughs> the page of cups reversed. You may feel that this person keeps things from you, but more than that, like, you feel like they're immature. You feel like they are only thinking about themselves, and you don't know how to feel about it all. Wow. Okay, so I just lied. So how does your person feel? Nine of Wands. How does your person feel? They're tired by it all. How does your person feel? Like they want it to be over. You know, the conflict. Um, yeah, I mean, they want things to work out. They do. They want to move forward with you. I feel like they're just in this spot where the whole thing is just exhausting right with the nine of wands and they're not saying anything they're being quiet i don't think i don't feel like either of you are saying anything and i feel like you feel like this is what this person does every time right this is what they do every time and you don't understand why and your person is like they are avoiding the conflict I mean, you may be dealing with a person who really doesn't like conflict, right? I mean, I feel like your person is here for the long term. I mean, with the Nine of Wands, that would say that, you know, the Nine of Wands is about perseverance. You know, it's about making it through. And I feel like, I feel like this is what your person has always done. This is how they deal with conflict. Okay, with the hermit being here, right? So much withdrawing energy. Like, this is how they think it works. Okay, they think that they can just not engage in the conflict and things will just, we'll just forget about it. We'll just forget about it. Yes, oh my goodness. Four of Pentacles with the Three of Cups. <laughs> so what happens next oh well oh there was a seven of swords here too yes but they're fooling themselves you know they don't deal with it is basically what it is and they think if they just you know they find conflict exhausting okay and they think if they just ignore it it'll go away Okay, it'll go away. And this is what they have always done. And they're starting to take a look at the fact that this is what they've always done. How they're working for you. Right? So what happens next? What happens next for this connection? Ooh, the world. Okay, you're going to have that talk. What happens next? What happens next? Okay. Oh boy. Okay. We're ending with the Ten of Wands. Oh boy. There is some opening up going on. Okay. We're finally getting to it, Sag. I feel like there's just something that happens. It's like the dam breaking with the world. Because the world is about, we're going to end this cycle. This is not what we're doing anymore. We're not going to avoid conflict. We're going to face it on, head, head on. Because this is accomplishment. This is accomplishment. <coughs> we're going to open up. And with the Ace of Cups, this is something, this is something new. 
with you and this person, you know? And, and so both of you feel like the spark, right? Excited, positive that, you know, we can put the past behind us. We can start fresh. And that happens because there's a new way here. And this may be coming from your person. Like, it may be because your person realizes that how they've dealt with conflict is no longer working. It doesn't go away. So on the bottom of the deck, we're seeing the Four of Swords... The Page of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Cups. Wow. So, the Wheel of Fortune is reversed, okay? There is that, but it's surrounded by so many positive cards, it's ridiculous. So, there's the Four of Swords here. So, upon reflection, upon a little bit of recovery, there is healing here. And there is a focus on growth. There is a focus on growth. And, the you know, the Page of Pentacles is also about communication. You know, and with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, but with the Three of Cups, it's kind of like... The, the joy that has always been in this connection is still there. Now, you may not think so because of this conflict, right? It's still there. And you are returning to it. But you're returning to it by focusing on what hasn't been changing. So, this definitely is dealing with the pattern. Okay. So, let's take a look at the Wheel of Fortune Reverse before we wind this up. Wheel of Fortune Reversed. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Six of Pentacles. Wow, is that a full moon and Libra card or what? Six, in pen Six of Pentacles is bringing things into balance. And what needed to happen was there needed to be more reciprocity. And that is what is going to happen. What wasn't changing was one person was get doing most of the giving Maybe that was you, Sag, and that needed to come into balance. Okay? What? 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 I love it. So, what's the outcome here? What is the outcome? Six of Swords. I love it. There's a, there's a, um, things are transforming. You're having the talk. Okay? Because Swords are about communication. You're having to talk, and you, always with the Six of Swords, that is someone helping us to move forward. And so, I do think you're, this is going to be a big change. Don't mind the dog. What's the outcome here for Sagittarius? Oh, wow. So this is great. So you're having this talk. You're going to move forward from the problems. You're going, and you're definitely coming into a new cycle where you communicate a whole lot more. Okay? Um, there's a lot more reciprocity, and you're just letting go. This whole, whatever this talk is, <sighs> lets you let go of a lot of pain. And I feel like that's that's also key here, because I feel like, both parties have been holding on to a lot of things they haven't said. Okay. And you know Saj can't do that. Saj can't do that. So that's a whole new way. Page of Wands. You know. And, you know, it's a whole new direction. It is what you want, Saj. It is good news. It, and, and, and it does, you know, there is forgiveness here. So... There's an apology for sure, and sometimes the Page of Wands feels like a small apology, but they make a small effort, and it just gets the ball rolling. It just gets the ball rolling, you know? And I do feel like one thing you're going to do is really bring changes in. You're going to really talk about what each of you wants, what each of you expects, and boundaries. 
and also that you do want to fight for this. You do want to fight for it. And it was this breakup or this explosion that made you see how much you value each other. How much you value each other because you felt, you know. And a lot of this had to do with, you know, I, I feel like the feeling, and I don't know if it was your person who felt this way or it's both of you, but the almost feeling that you couldn't meet each other's needs. There was this feeling that you couldn't do it. Um, or that you weren't doing it. Or that your needs were not being met. And it was really making you feel alone. Wow. Ace of Swords. Laying it all on the table, Sag. And with the Ace of Swords, we see now he, how we can win. Everything becomes clearer. This is like... This is like the moment where you start to see everything really clearly. Really clearly. And you're winning here. You're winning. I love this Sagittarius. It is actually beautiful, though it had a, you know, a start, didn't it? <laughs> so, definitely have this conversation. It will be well worth the time, even if, you know, I think the difficulty is who says it first. Right? Okay, Saj, be the love. Toodles.